Okay, I have my brand spanking new Tac Life 5 volt 30 amp power supply. Let's see what's inside. See, there's not a heck of a lot. We have a warranty card. That's pretty interesting. Nice set of leads. These are nice heavy duty leads. Power cord. What else is in here? A very thick two-page manual. <laughs> and yes, I'm saying that sarcastically. And there it is. Feast your eyes on that little beauty. That is Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Not much to it. It's light. Let's plug it in and see how it looks. Okay, let's see here. The leads, uh, Lisa, that one felt, yep, they're nice and snug. That's nice. Yeah, you could put spade lugs behind the screw-on knob there, and there's a little hole in that stud that you could possibly put another lead into. But these banana plugs fit nicely. That's a nice fit. Knobs feel good. They've got little indents on them, little detents, so you can feel every time you move one increment. And one of the really nice things about this power supply is the output button. So you can have your voltage and current set to whatever and turn it on and you will not have to worry about blowing up any projects or anything that's connected because no, no voltage will be applied to the two clip ends until you push the, the output button. So that's really nice. So it's got a power button back here that you turn on for the main power. So here we are straight away at 30 volts, well 31 volts and 5 amps. And I really like the fact that it's got three digits to the right of the decimal place in the current, with the current reading. So we can get down and we can read current as low as single digit milliamps. Okay, let's check out our wonderful manual here. It's a little bit of information in it. The power supply functions as a constant voltage source as long as the load current is less than the preset current limiting value. When the load current is equal to or greater than the preset current limiting value, the power supply will automatically cross over to the constant mode. Voltage will drop. I think they mean constant current mode. CC will show on the LED display panel and it will operate as a constant current source. When the load current drops below the preset current limiting value, the power supply returns to constant voltage mode. So how do we set the constant current? Switch on the power supply, adjust the output voltage to about 3 volts, turn off the output terminal, and then short the leads together, which is a pretty common way of doing this. So if Turn the voltage down to about three volts, it said. And if I if I go slow, each I can feel the detents in the switch. So each time I feel a detent, it goes one full character. So that's I like that. That's nice. So there's three volts. It says turn off the output, which is already off. I have no output here. But if I turn on the output, you can see an LED lights, and now now there will be something going across these terminals. But that's turned off. They say turn that off and short out your leads. And in the old days, well, I'll tell you what, shorting out your, your shorting out your uh, power supply leads was a no-no. But in today's technology, that's how you set your current limiting. And I got a comment about the alligator clips on this on these leads. They're tight. I love them. So they're that's, these are good quality leads. Like these are so tight with my arthritic fingers, it's hard for me to open them. But I'm going to short them out. 
and it says once I've done that adjust the current limiting value to your desired value so let's say I just want oh let's just say one amp each time I push this knob watch different digits flash so that tells me which one's going to be adjusted when I rotate the knob so I want to go to that big one I guess and I want uh, I want one amp doesn't go to the left of the decimal place for some reason, but that's fine. Let's just keep going down to one. So there we are, one amp. Turn off the output terminal and take, oh. Short the black and red output terminals and turn on. Oops, I forgot to turn on the output. That's okay, I still have one amp. Turn off the output and take out the shorting connection, okay. Unshort the alligator clips, in other words, I guess. The current limiting of the power supply has been preset to my one amp for the entire range of voltage. Okay, so let's go up to 5 volts. Let's go up to 5.5 just for demonstration purposes. I'm going to push this button in. So I want to go to 0.5. Can't spin this knob too fast. It won't keep up. And then I have to push this to get on the left side of the decimal place. There we go. 5.5 volts at 1 amp. Let's put a load on here and see if it holds up. Okay, I've set my power supply up for 5 volts and uh, uh, 5 amps. And I put a meter across the resistor. I put a 10 ohm resistor across the power supply. Let's see what goes on. Right now the power supply says 5 amps, 5 volts, the meter says no voltage, and that's because this beautiful feature of this power supply is that you can turn the output on and off without having to disconnect leads or turn the main power supply uh, on off switch. So if I set my, if I turn on my output button, now I've got almost 5 volts, 4.97, and I've got almost 5, um, almost a half an amp, 500 milliamps, uh, going, th going through the resistor. I love the current limiting feature of these power supplies. You don't have to worry about hooking something up that draws too much current. Maybe you forgot to put in a current limiting resistor or something, or you've got a short circuit or whatever. You don't have to worry about blowing up certain things because the power supply will limit the amount of current that those certain things can take. Let's, uh, let's go back up on our current. Go all the way up to five amps and now let's check the I'm going to check the accuracy of the voltage again I'm going to push the button and depending on which which uh, digit blinks is the digit I'm going to be adjusting so I want to make big adjustments so I'm going to go up to 30 volts and I've got 30 volts on my meter so that's pretty close 31 on the power supply 30.8 on the meter let's go down to 20 20 on the power supply, 19.9 on the meter. Looking good. All right, this is nice. It appears to be working nicely. I like the feel of it. The leads are nice, high quality leads. It's got this wonderful feature of the output button on it, which a lot of power supplies do not have. And it's got the four digit display that will allow you to even see one milliamp of current, where I don't think you could see one milliamp. I think the smallest you could see would be 10 milliamps if you only had a three digit display. So that's a good looking power supply. It feels good, it's lightweight, looks good. I like the look of it, seems accurate. The leads are healthy, which makes me believe the rest of the power supply is healthy. You know, a healthy strength. So I like it. The Tac Life MDC01. Bought it from Amazon for about $70, $75, I think, something like that, free shipping. So I like it. I would recommend it.